Hello, Mr. Boot. Hello, graduate student researcher. How was your trip to Afghanistan? It went very well. I had a fantastic iced latte at the ISAF headquarters in Kabul. I saw your tweet. I didn't realize that iced coffee was so easily available in Afghanistan. It is quite common, in my experience, along with soft serve ice cream. It must be dangerous there. Yes, I gained 10 pounds. <coughs> ha 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 ha. Max, you are so funny. And brave. Well, it's true that I was out on the streets of Kabul. You were walking around? No, it was in an armored SUV on the drive to the airport. But I saw many ordinary Afghans. How did they look? Pleased with our nation-building project and the democracy that we've brought to their country. You've mentioned them in many panels and debates. Yes. And I heard the same thing from the many ordinary Afghans I spoke to at the ISAF headquarters. What did they say? That what they need is more military and development spending, not less. And we talked about the best crab restaurants in Baltimore. Crab restaurants. Later on, I took a Black Hawk ride with some generals to an Afghan village. People there were less talkative, but no less enthusiastic. Were they afraid of the Taliban? Yes. That is why I had to read between the lines and see that they supported a larger foreign military presence in their village. The surge is just getting started, so we need to win their hearts and minds with a population-centric counter-insurgency strategy. But Max, some people have been saying that we have surged money and soldiers into Afghanistan since 2006 and that we are therefore pursuing a demonstrably failed strategy, one that is inflaming the root causes of the violence fueling corruption, and destabilizing Afghanistan's conflict economy. They also say that pundits like yourself travel inside of an epistemological bubble maintained by HESCO barriers and private security contractors. That iced latte that I had was really good.